the act of cracking your knuckle created a gas cavity where there previously wasn't one. It's the result of a process called tribonucleation, and it goes a little bit like this. Joint surfaces are where they're supposed to be as the person begins applying force. Joint surfaces resist separation. Critical force is reached, pulling the joint surfaces apart, suddenly forming a vacuum-like space filled with gas. The source of that crack was also tested in research that used ultrasound technology to study the same thing. During the study, they saw a bright flash like a firework exploding in the joint. The team was confident that the knuckle-cracking sound and bright flash on ultrasound were associated with changes in pressure with a gas bubble in the joint. It didn't definitively settle the formation versus collapse debate, but they did say that since the flash only ever came after the crack, this perhaps supports the bubble formation theory, not the bubble popping theory. It was observed that the cavity hung around even after the sound was over, before fading away, with no visible damage to the joint observed. Cracking knuckles didn't seem to alter the joint spacing in the long term, but it's worth noting that only one participant was used in the research. 